What we see here, this is flight assembled architecture. Is, uh, it's an installation that has been conceived for uh, the Frag Center in Orléans a few years ago. I think it, uh, this is a real radical project because, I mean, it's the first installation, architectural installation that has really built with flying machines. So up to that point, this has never happened. So that you assemble, you know, architecture from flying robots. Could it be done? To what degree could it be done? How much can they lift? What precision do they have if they assemble elements? So there is something really realistic about it. And the, the, the moment when people saw the six meter high tower being installed by multiple co collaborating robots uh, being assembled, that was quite magical. And this is a speculative project. It's also it, this, this idea of building with flying machines triggered the fantasy of uh, building actually an entire inhabitable city for 30,000 people as a 600 meter high tower. And this is now a 1 to 1,000 scale model of this vertical city, which hopefully will be built in the future. The Rock Queen project is really a quest on sustainability. Could we build structures from loose material, such as rock, which you can find everywhere on this planet, and strings, build them up vertically to possible housings later on? Currently, it's a sculptural project. And then you can take this uh, object apart again just by pulling out the strings out of this installation and in the end you have again the raw materials, the rocks and the string on the other hand, out of which it was composed. So it's a coming together of raw material and information at the building process by the robots. I would say what's really beautiful about the developments that are currently ongoing and how these developments are taken up actually worldwide is that a lot of curiosity is being produced. And I think curiosity is a really good driver to actually induce changes um, in the way that we build, in the way that we design. And I would say it's difficult to foresee the future of this because in the end it depends on what the people want from this. Uh, so if like in this exhibition you see new phenomena, etc., you get intrigued. I think this could also trigger new demands. Uh, so the next generation will ask for different things from architecture, possibly, uh, than the current generation does. And hopefully uh, we can help with those developments.